Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. Something very interesting happened with the relaunch of G4 TV. Hmm. It's already been rebranded. It seems that way. Yeah, as X Play, and there's not a lot of explanation as to what's going on here, but it seems like it seems like G4 TV, after a disastrous relaunch, is trying to distance itself. Uh, from that branding. Yeah, well, that's what happens when you completely shit on it and ruin it. Yeah, right. So we're gonna we're gonna talk about this. Uh, lots of stuff going on. Some of their shows already getting canceled. They're uh, getting picked up over on Pluto TV. I think this thing is dead in the water. They have sunk millions and millions of dollars into relaunching this brand, only to have their hosts. Uh, blow it up right out of the I was going to say, but I thought nothing they said don't actually hurt anything with it. Remember, they're like, oh, that not, everything's fine here. It's all fine here. Nothing's changed. Nothing's been damaged. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think the uh, the entire brand has been damaged. And we have heard, uh, you know, behind the scenes, we've heard that there are people at, uh, you know, Universal Comcast that are not happy mm -hmm. with how things went down with, uh, you know, just a little bit of a rundown of what what happened, uh, G4 came out swinging against fans. Uh, you know, we had some of their hosts out there uh, calling fans misogynists. And, and then we had uh, people that were actually executives uh, at the channel coming out and backing them up. Well, they said, don't watch us. Don't so watch people us. people didn't. Don't watch us. And now they're shitting their pants and rebranding. Yeah, now they're rebranding. And, um, you know, it's the the... Uh, silence is deafening on Twitter. There's not a lot of uh, talk from any of the people associated with They're G4. They're probably told to shut the hell up. I think they were. I mean, we've got Adam Sessler out there, you know, uh, talking politics, but it doesn't seem like he's going as hard uh, on on uh, politics as he was before. Uh, but yeah, I think there's definitely definitely something going on. I think definitely somebody was threatened again you know, for were me and I sunk millions of dollars into a relaunch and I put the marketing out there and all kinds of PR and, and you guys uh, effed it up. You know, the first or second week out of the mm -hmm. out of the gate, I'd be like, what the actual hell? Well, I just like how this guy came out and said, don't watch us. And he was a senior vice president. And then people are like, fine, we won't. And, that, and then they're like, shit. Yeah, so people aren't watching. They're rebranding. They're using the X Play uh, and branding. Let's be honest, a lot of people were watching them to begin with. I don't think. No, but they, still, they weren't. they weren't. So we're going to talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over uh, two hundred sixty thousand subs. Yay. Thank you for the support. Now we have not been following the um, the day to day of no. what's going on with G Four because we honestly. Just didn't care. I don't give a shit. Mm -hmm. uh, just just to walk it back a little bit, you know, they they relaunched. I think it was like November of last year. They did kind of a soft relaunch, and then um, Foreskin here, uh, Indiana Black, she made some comments on one of their live streams that uh, you know she didn't like that people were comparing her to more fappable. Uh, co-hosts that were no longer, you know, with them. And she might have had a point. Yeah, I honestly, but... I think some of the things she said, um, you know, like women don't like being told, like, I got off to you. Yeah, it's not. It's kind of icky. Um, she had some points, but she did it in such a shitty way. And, and the thing is, it paints everywhere with a broad brush, too. Like, you know, you might get a couple trolls that do that, but most of the guys that are watching aren't that way. No. And, and basically, when G4 came back, it was... Everything that gamers have had had issues yes, with. Yes, that's um, more to do with it. I think in, in the gaming industry since like 2013, 2014, it was it was basically uh, became another GamerGate type situation. Yeah. And look, here's the thing: they are way late to the party. We've got this corporate backed video game channel getting. 8,000 views in a day, 7,000 views in a day. That's on YouTube now. I well, thought some of those days are, are, are missing, which means they rolled them into totals the day before the day after. So yep. when you have 35,000, that's probably for two days. Two days worth of views. Yeah. Uh, now, I got to give a hat tip to Martin, who actually you know, mm. gave me a heads up on this. I knew people were talking about it. I wasn't exactly we were paying sure. paying attention. Yeah, because I don't really give a shit. Like, you know, from where we're sitting, it's like, look, uh, you know, uh, another corporation is trying to cash in on gaming culture by bringing, you know, dragging out the reanimated corpse of, of G4, and you can never go back, you know? I'm sorry, I think this is funny. Besides the fact that you have negative 800,000 views. Which they is, hit a bunch of videos, yeah. yeah. But look over here. 
Okay, they have 490,000 subs. X-Play should reach 489,000 subs around tomorrow. Oh, yeah. They're losing subs. Yeah, um, that means it's almost they've almost lost enough to drop them down. Usually this shows you when you're going to move up to the next 1,000. This is showing them going down 1,000. When the Frost situation was going down, they were losing like 1,000, 2,000 subs a day. People mm -hmm. were like, this is bullshit. Now, well, then you had the vice president come out instead of being like, oh, you know what? I, I think maybe it was handled wrong. Maybe that what well, they had a point, but that they shouldn't have worded it that way. We understand that that's not the majority of you people. It's just like a couple people that she had a problem with. No, no, no. He basically was like, don't watch it then. I was like, that's your answer? Yeah. And again, if it's your own channel, you can say shit like that. But when you're you're playing with other people's money, and you're playing with you know millions of dollars that uh, Comcast has invested in this. I don't think your bosses are going to be real happy to have one of their VPs out there or their hosts out there telling people not to watch their channel. Right. As well as the host, one thing, but the VP is another. Yeah. And as soon as this went down, as soon as like everybody was talking about like you know what she had said, um, we had people that are connected to the people that are their bosses they're telling us. You know, yeah. They were not happy. That, that, that They're yeah. not happy. I yeah. mean, it was like within like hours of this whole thing going down, they were like, oh shit. You like know? Th there's going to be a talking to. Uh, I think uh, there was a talking to, which is why when she was out there like, I'll, you know, set, submit and I'll, I'll come to your shows and I'll take you on. And I'll... Notice how she did the one apparently, but she like dropped that real quick. Yeah, she was that that was that was just uh, bizarre. This whole thing has been bizarre. We haven't again, we haven't really been following the the day to day because it's like who gives a shit? G4 is trying to come back and they're, they're failing. Not working. They're failing miserably. But yeah, Frost was actually out there on Twitter trying to throw down the gauntlet and get get people to to let let her on live streams and you had oh, to talk only to my, the biggest ones. Only the biggest ones and you had to talk to talk to my agent to to set that up and Apparently, the quartering had something set up with her. I don't know if he ever did the interview know, or not. I didn't watch it. But uh, that was a debacle. Like, I wouldn't, again, you know, you're not running your own YouTube channel. You're not running your own, you know, uh, Twitch channel. You are a spokesperson for this company. You can't be out there baiting people on Twitter like that, regardless of how you feel about it. And then you look, you can feel however you want to feel. If it were your own thing, that's that's one thing. But you're again, you're playing with millions of other people's dollars, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, they're playing with fire and uh, somebody's going to get fired. And look, I, I thought maybe, hey, they're bigger on on Twitch than they are on YouTube. And I guess on Twitch, they're still G4 branded. But well, it seems to be not as bad over there. I mean, it's still not great. It's oh my not God, great. No, they did have that one, but they must have had a campaign or something that day. 295. Yeah, they're doing like D&D &D stuff or whatever. But I'm like, again, this is for a corporate backed video game streamer on Twitch and YouTube. This is fucking pathetic. It is. It's I mean, pretty bad. we're talking 600,000 views in the last 30 days. Ooh. There are individual. I mean, hell, we're we're a small YouTube channel and we get. Millions of views a month. Well, it's not and even. We're small. You know, she was having a fit about being a woman, and people, oh, because they treat me different because I'm a woman, and all the other stuff. Thing is, there are a lot of female gamers on Twitch. They get a lot of a lot more views and a lot more subscribers, and no one's questioning them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah. So this is um, that that's it. It's it's it, when you come out of the gate like that, and and immediately. Your go-to is like, let's demonize gamers like it's 2014. You know, people are are beyond this. This is why there are so many. Look, Machinima, they shut down Machinima. You know, Machinima had like, what, 12 million subs or something like that? They shut the damn thing down. They had years of, of uh, archives of videos, gamer-friendly videos, that they could have left up and they took the whole thing down because it wasn't worth it. Because for Warner Brothers Corporation, it wasn't worth it. Why... Comcast thinks it's worth it now to do these corporate backed, uh, you know, video game YouTube channels. It's beyond me. I don't know. I just, uh, yeah. You know. So anyway, um, X Play is one of their most uh, uh, popular brands. So they rebranded. Uh, G four rebranded as X Play. So, yeah, they're going to rebrand as the one people ha ha hasn't been destroyed completely yet. But there's a lot of stuff going on here too. Um, Popculture.com just earlier this morning, one of their streaming shows already canceled. Uh, this would be what's called boosted. Is that the one boosted. she went off at? I think it was X Play. I think it was on oh, X, -Play X Play she went off. Uh, so this is coming from popculture.com. They're already canceling shows. 
Uh, as is the case in television, another promising show has been canceled after just one season. Promising. As G4 continues to figure out its long-term strategy for covering esports, there is no strategy. They thought the brand, I well, think, was enough. Having your vice president go out and tell people don't watch it then is probably not a good strategy. Yep. Uh, it decided to cancel the weekly live show Boosted. Boosted featured host uh, Frost, uh, Ovali May, and Alex Golden Boy Mendez and was one of the six shows G4 used to relaunch the network alongside X-Play, Attack of the Show, Attack of the Show, Vibe Check, Attack of the Show, The Loop, and Dungeons & Dragons presents Invitation to Party, which is cringy as hell. I saw clips from this. Mm -hmm. I'm like, they're trying to be Critical Role, and it's terrible. Really? Like, there are individual YouTubers that are doing a better job of all covering all this shit mm -hmm. than this corporate-backed monstrosity is. Boosted aired 16 episodes, all of which are available to watch on YouTube. Uh, like other G4 shows, Boosted aired on Twitch and YouTube. Yeah, lots of, lots of views on these. Mm -hmm. Lots of views on these. Um, and also on G4 Select, the network's just launched Pluto TV channel. It's not hard to get a channel on these places. Like Roku and Pluto, like you, and anybody. most anybody can get those. Yeah, there are, again, there are individual YouTubers that have their own channels on Roku mm -hmm. and Pluto. It's like you basically just set it up, you know, partner up with somebody, and it's like, hey, we've got the Clownfish TV TV channel on Clownfish TV on Roku TV and Pluto Maybe, TV. Maybe, who knows? You never who know. Who the hell knows? Uh, who would want to listen to us 24-7? <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I have no idea. But uh, G4 has been fine-tuning this strategy since their soft launch in 2020, and more changes came this week. That's what they're calling it. They're, trying, they're, they're really... Like, Talking around the problem. Yeah, as G4 tries to figure out just how to how to relaunch in this space now in current year. It's like, no, your hosts attacked fans. Uh, your vice president told people not to watch the channel, and people did just that. It's and your not shows are boring. Rockets. Your shows are boring. Boost's cancellation came bundled with a series of tweaks to the network's YouTube strategy. That means that they that they uh, they 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 canceled the show and then probably put a bunch of mandates in. One of them probably was shut up. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, that's that's what they told them. We'll be saying ta-ta for now to the beloved Boost. Beloved. They had 16 episodes that got canceled. Beloved Boosted. And welcoming even more esports content to the G4 TV esports channel. Uh, we're taking note of your feedback. What, what was that before or after you told people not to watch it? When I people gave you feedback, your answer was, don't watch it then. We're taking note of your feedback. So what, the feedback? Oh, weren't, they, weren't they censoring people on Discord and stuff yes, too? Yes, they were. They were. Wait, so let me get this straight. In the chat, they were censoring let me get people. This straight. Discord, they were censoring people. You're going to take note of the feedback. But when people tried to give you feedback, you censored them, silenced them, and told them not to watch anymore. So by feedback, you mean only the feedback that you agree with? Which yes. isn't really feedback, that's just confirmation bias. <laughs> So we're t taking note of all your feedback or confirmation bias, and and we're gonna try and, and the and the the overlords who pay for this shit want it to turn a profit, so we have to change some things. Yeah, they're changing the format. They're gonna focus more on esports, which always always was the plan. Uh, my understanding, that's why they brought Frost in too, was to to try to play the esports angle. But I'm like. You've burnt the bridge. You've nuked the bridge. Yeah, there's not even a burn. It's like it's like you not only burned the bridge and it's gone. You made the gap wider. You yeah. somehow knocked half the rock down on yourself. I, I mean, I just we were listening. I love this. We're taking note of your feedback when they would they were like telling people not to watch and they were like blocking people's comments and deleting them and not letting them say what they had to say. And but we're taking note of feedback. We're gonna do. We're gonna do. Yeah, our hosts are are gonna. Uh, you know, comment on the games they love. There are going to be more original esports sketches. Oh, yay. More partnered content like like face check and and uh, more than a few co-streaming surprises. Basically, now, so we're going to bring celebrities in to try to. We're going to bring Ninja in to try to save this shit. Yeah, we're going to bring people, ones that people actually watch and want to watch in. Wait, is he allowed? They can't because he's in trouble all the time because he won't play with women. Okay. So how can they? Okay, they'll go get the uh, go get the deer lady from, from oh, Twitch. Oh, yes, there you deer go. Deer person. The dear person. Uh, Brian Terwilliger, SVP Programming, Creative Strategy, Development, and Talent at G4, later confirmed boosted uh, cancellation and on the was, Discord. And what was left of the Discord community. What was left of it, noting the then-aired March 9th episode would be the last, but the creative team behind it in front of the camera is still here, cooking up new ideas, projects, and partnerships. No, this is, this is the public face of... A behind the scenes dressing down. Oh yeah, exactly what it is. This is they got their asses chewed out by management, as we were told would probably happen, and now they're gonna try to to pivot. 
They're going to try to change up the format and uh, get people to forget all about the debacle with Frost. So now if they, they Google G4, they're gonna, just going to see the G4 esports channel. They're not going to see the X-Play channel. They're not going to see the drama. They're Well, yeah. I think it's funny because uh, Golden Boy spoke out on the cancellation via a Twitter video and assured fans this was not a doom and gloom situation. Things are fine. I know it may come as a surprise to a lot of you. Not really. Uh, because honestly, it just kind of came out of the blue. No, it didn't. No, it didn't. It did but not. The team is actually very excited about where we go from here, which is someplace else because we got our asses chewed out. It came out of the blue. No, management, I think, knew about it. I think the host didn't know about it or didn't want to believe it. And I think it was more a case of they did not want to believe that their corporate overlords would slap the shit out of their bosses for letting them run at the mouth. Mm -hmm. There's no well, surprise. Well, the one boss telling people not to watch. Yeah. I you, mean, he'd be the first one I'd fire personally, but. I, I would fucking fire this guy. I would. I mean, if you're stoking the fires and we we have sunk millions of dollars into this channel and you're flat out telling people not to watch, I'd be like, your job is to get people to watch. That is literally what we pay you for and you're telling people not to watch. Mm-hmm. What? The actual fuck. You are, again, you know, I talked before about help and anti-help. You're anti-marketing, right? We spend millions of dollars marketing and promoting this channel, and now you're telling people not to watch this channel. You're anti-marketing. You're doing more damage to our brand and our company than detractors are because you speak in an official capacity. You know, there's a box. There's your shit on your desk. Put your little toys in it and get the fuck out of here. Mm -hmm. That's how you deal with it. Yeah, I mean, where you can, you know, <laughs> yeah, where you can give a pass. To the, I mean, you can't even give a pass. But like the hosts, they might be like get a talking down. They're they, hired help. They're, this guy's yeah, in charge. He exactly. You know, the grunts. Uh, sometimes you can give more of a pass to, but dude, you are in charge, and you're telling people not to watch. I just love how they're acting like it's an oh, it's, it's such a surprise. surprise. We don't know where this came from. You don't and know I where love this the came from. I still love that we're listening to your feedback part that one that one tickles me so much because it's so bullshit oh god here we go again this is this is uh this is very current year our team was very capable and they worked incredibly hard we worked so hard on it that's, don't criticize you, it th that's what gets me you hear over and over again from people well people worked hard on this so you shouldn't say anything bad about it. like daisy ridley said that about star wars and stuff it's like just because you worked hard on it doesn't make it good there's a lot of people that work hard on a lot of things that end up you know not working there's bridges coll that collapse you know i'm sure the team worked really hard on it but something was done incorrectly you, you might you know get a, a go to a restaurant and get like a some some food that was really gross i'm sure some Someone worked hard on it, but they executed it poorly. You can't, so you can't complain. Somebody worked hard on that salmonella. Right. I mean, I'm just saying, you know, you know, they get the hepatitis and the spinach. Someone worked hard taking that shit to contaminate all the spinach. How dare you? <laughs> Ask Gordon Ramsay how that works. I'm sure people have tried that shit with him. It's like, but I worked so hard on that dish. And he's like, your dish is dog shit. It's like, yeah, but it works so hard on that dog shit. And it's like, you know, I get it. People work really hard. They put a lot of effort yeah, into something. And, and it doesn't, it doesn't resonate out, with yeah. people. Part of the problem, I think, is people you know, put themselves in an echo in these echo chambers, especially on social media. So they only hear what they want to hear coming back to them. And then they get like, oh, everybody's going to love this. And then they don't. And then they act genuinely act surprised that they are so damn out of touch. Hollywood is notorious for this. They're so effing out of touch with everyone that they, that they can't understand why people aren't tuning in to watch their award show. What the hell? You know, just work Working hard on something doesn't mean that it's going to resonate with people. It doesn't mean that it's good. You can work hard on a bad idea. I love how they always try to put the positive spin on this. Um, you know, it's 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 a net positive. It's a net positive that the show got canceled. It's a uh, net positive. How? Yep. It's not a net positive. Uh, Frost shared a couple tweets on the situation as well. She wrote, the team behind Boosted are all exceptionally honorable and talented. And that's the greatest compliment I can give. I have what I consider normal exceptionally low threshold for bullshit. Yeah, well, so do I. Abusive work conditions, egos, or bigotry. And the I, industry is rife with promoting predators. Uh, um, well, you know what? To be fair, that goes both ways. That, that does. Because I remember uh, hearing about people that were like, you know, oh, when the whole Gamergate was going down, some of the women who were the one out there yelling the loudest, had, had, there was a, they had a lot of skeletons in their closet. And they did some really shitty things. And that's why they got called out in the first place. So, you know... It, if you're saying rife with promoting predators, you know, well, that might be the case, but it's not just one type of person. And that's what they keep doing. And here she says, low threshold for bullshit. So do I. Uh, abusive working conditions, egos, and bigotry. I, as do I. The difference is, and like, and I said, some of the things she said, I don't think she's wrong about. 
Um, I, I do think that in gaming, I have my sister games. She doesn't talk on her mic half the time because as soon as guys find out she's a girl, they dogpile her, call her bitch, and tell all kinds of stuff just because she's a girl. Um, so I do know it happens. I'm not saying it doesn't. And I do know from personal experience, well, you're not as fuckable as the other person. So I'm going to go watch her show instead. Happens all the damn time. But that being said, these are people that are extreme examples. It is not the norm. I mean, most guys who watch your show aren't, you know, writing her and telling her, because let's be honest, most people weren't probably getting off to her anyway. But I'm just saying, they weren't writing her and saying the things she's saying. I'm sure she got it from some people, but that doesn't make the majority. And it's not fair to paint everyone with that broad brush. And that's exactly what happened. Well, I'm just like, even in her comments here, I mean, she could have said everybody, you know, is good at their job or whatever. Why does she have to come out and say, you know, the yeah, industry is rife with predators. I'm like, what the fuck does that have to do with anything? Like, there, yeah, exactly. That has nothing to do with it. Just to, just to throw more <laughs> fuel on the fire. I don't work with rapists, everybody. I'm a good person. I don't, I don't work don't. with rapists, but the rapists are out there playing these games and we need to stop. And that's, that's why we're here. <laughs> don't watch other YouTube channels because rapists work there. Mm -hmm. They, they work for those. Yeah. I, that was a weird, that was a weird thing to say. Like, again, you know, this is psychologically, you can see where people are by what they talk about the yes. most. And the fact that everything that comes out of some of these people's mouths have like a political yes, tinge to it. It's everywhere. Or, uh, you know, being like, you're all racist, misogynist, rapist, homophobe. And what gets me too fappers. is like, if that's what it is, especially on social media. And we have fappers. what gets me is the fact that it's gotten to a place where if you have any idea different than what they have, any um, perspective that's not, the, that doesn't match up, you don't like the same cartoon show or video game, then you automatically should just fall to the face of the earth and die because you're, you are the, you are like the whatever, worst of the worst. And it's getting ridiculous. I mean, there was no reason to add that. I mean, she already said what she was going to say. She made her point poorly, but she, she tried to make her point, and she will not stop doubling down on this point. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, again, going out and and daring YouTubers to debate her was... Well, they all of them offered, apparently. We never did, because we're like, hell no. Nah. We're not giving you a platform. Plus, you know, we didn't hardly talk about you, so we just didn't care. Nah. Um, but people did offer, and she didn't go, because she probably got told she couldn't. Yeah, probably. I mean, I, I, yeah, if I were her agent, I were her boss, I'd be like, what the hell are you doing? Like, seriously, just do your job. You, you're allowed to have your political opinions. People are allowed to have their political opinions, but don't attack our audience. We need to do everything we can do to grow this channel. I know how to fix the situation. I, I totally know how to fix it. They have to make it fair across the board. If women are judged by how fuckable they are, every dude on the show has to be fuckable as well. I don't think there are very many fuckable because dudes. Because I'm looking at these dudes, and they're not. Dude, so, dude. to be fair. and <laughs> These I, I, dudes are not. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom. But I'm just saying, if they want to make it fair, because they have, like, her. And yeah, clearly, she's, you know, sexed up. Let's be honest. And and why aren't the men? I, it's not, you know, why aren't the men more fuckable? That's a, there you go right there. We have Adam Sessler going on and on and on on Twitter. Well, dude, you're not very fuckable. So, I have a problem with that. <laughs> I would have a problem with you... Thinking he was. No, I'm just saying. I'm just like, you know, fine. Problem solved. Just make everybody more fuckable. Everybody's got to have a six pack. You cannot. That's what they should just rebrand the channel as. Six pack. There you go. It's just a bunch <laughs> a bunch of really hot guys. I'm that's, just that's like, all it is. This is how stupid it is. But I mean, it is, it, to her point, you know, it's like, I, like a, some of the, the girls that have been on the show before have bits that are very sexualized. And it's like. You know, right. by, I meant skits. Skits. Anyway, are, bits some I of their meant, bits like, are sexy. They have sexy bits. But I'm just saying, I mean, to the yeah. point, so I'm like, problem solved. I mean, I get why they're doing it because they want people to watch. Just make everybody, because, you know, to be fair, you shouldn't be uh, discriminating by only hot girls because there are girls that are in the boys. There are boys that are into boys. So all of them should be fuckable. Problem solved. That's it. We're just, get, it's just going to be like a dating sim. Like it's just a whole bunch of hot people. Mm hmm. You know, and they're all very, very interested in your hobbies, like really well, interested in your hobbies. Let's be honest, for the most part, most of them can't play worse shit anyway. No. So what they do is they get a nerd to actually play the games and then they get the hot, bring the hot guys out to flex while the nerds are behind them. Right. Playing video I mean, games. that way, they, they, then you get, you get gameplay, you get foreplay and everybody's happy. That's what they'll call it. It's, yeah, you can combine G4 and X play into foreplay, uh -huh. and that's the new channel. Oh, yes, name. yes, yay! That's good. Yay! 
Yeah, we, there you we go. solved your problem, G. Mark, marketing genius. Four play. There Four we play. Solved that it. should be problem the... solved for everyone. Well, they're getting Scott the Waz on on here, which makes some of the girls juicy. I guess he looks like he looks like uh, um, Tom Holland, kind of. I don't even know who he is. Yeah, I don't play. I, I'm not a gamer, so I don't know. Anyway, um, this is uh, they're they're doing uh, uh, Pluto now. They're gonna have G G four plus or select. Um, the recently relaunched network <laughs> started appearing Monday on Pluto TV, the first streaming service to carry G four select. It's ad free supported uh, or free ad supported channel uh, content on G4 select includes attack of the show, Ninja warrior and X play new content includes name your price. Scott, the Waz, who's got his own YouTube channel and gets way more views than X play slash. Is he G4. fuckable? Because that's all that matters. Uh, a lot of girls think he is a lot of guys. Well, if you think do he think he is, then you know what? That you're the problem in gaming. You're the problem. You should be uglier, Scott. You should put a bag on your head. Oh no. See, that's what we should do. We should just make everybody not fuckable because then it wouldn't be a problem. I mean, I guess that would make it less viewership, but that would be more fair. There we go. That's we have to be fair. It's, we have to Harrison Bergeron everybody. They just have to, you know, all be as ugly, homely, and untalented. Well, they already have the untalented with a lot of the the uh, gaming journalists now because they can't actually play the games. No, they just want to complain about <laughs> like you know their 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 holes in the console and you know Trump. <laughs> oh, Trump. I'm so triggered. Uh, we're thrilled to partner Pluto TV to deliver G4 content to their U.S. audience, said Russell Aarons, president of G4, for how much longer? The OTT space, specifically fast, has seen tremendous growth. Basically, they're going to push G4 and X-Play onto Pluto, uh, where you can't see the views. <laughs> you know? That's probably what it's about. And, and where people are just going to flip through the channels and be like, oh, yeah, video game something. I'll just watch this. Yeah, and I have to wonder if, if G4 would have gotten as big as it did, uh, you know, because there really weren't a lot of options when it was on. I it was like already, the only video game channel. That's what I, I do think that. But beyond that, I think there's not a lot of options. I mean, like, yeah, it's on TV networks. And it was before. Mm -hmm. I remember because I saw it on, like, the TV networks. But I would argue YouTube and Twitch is bigger than Pluto TV. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, so this is, this is basically they're trying to make as much money off of this shit show as they can to prove that it's worth continuing. Uh, the guy said G4 is a perfect blend of current gaming culture. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> Coupled with the nostalgic <laughs> offerings that our viewers crave. But uh, not, but not hot women. You're not allowed. That's not, that's not, you're okay. going to watch not the, hot men either. You're going to watch the old episodes with the hot chicks, and then you're going to have the new chick tell you that it was wrong of you to lust after the hot chicks. Mm -hmm. um, but there's nothing for women unless you like women because um, you just have to look at what they give you. So here's the problem. I think they have a contract. They can't just pull the plug. G4 collaborates with Twitch on a multi-year oh, promotional and commercial partnership through G4's official Twitch channel, which is doing so good. It's doing so, so good. Mm -hmm. Um yeah, I, I hope they have an out clause because this is a this is. A shit show. I'm hoping Twitch has an out clause. That's what I'm talking. Yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, G4, whatever. All right, guys. So there it is. Uh, G4 rebranding already. Uh, I think the damage is done. Yeah, they just came back and it was like in a few within like what four months. Yeah. They're rebranding. I'm like, that's not a good look. That's not a good look. Um, uh, nothing about this has been a good look. No. So, game over. <sighs> Shocker. Oh, they're so surprised. We're not. I'm surprised. We're going to wrap it up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.